Now working from the stretch. Holson delivers on the pitch. This one will be swung on. Skied into the air. Shallow right field. It's a long run, but a catch made by Dan Grovet. Over the past five games, they're averaging just two runs per game in that time. And here's why. A swing and a miss on a fastball as he climbed the ladder and Riggins chased. Yeah, I, th I thought this was one of his, Danny Holton's better outings, you know, over the last uh, few weeks. Um, you know, he's uh, he's been running a high pitch count uh, the last four weeks or so and, you know, hasn't been able to get into that seventh or eighth inning. And we got to get him back to that, to where he's able to limit his pitches in, in the early part of the game so he can pitch deeper into the game for us. But, you know, I thought he, I thought he really battled. Uh, yeah, I felt really good going out there. Uh, after some rough starts these past couple weeks, I felt, uh, felt really good to go out there and you know, pitch like I know I can. So, uh, yeah, I felt really good. Holton glances again over to first. And delivers from the stretch. This one's going to be a chance for a double play. Scooped up by the shortstop on to second for one. Turn it over to first, and it's a double play to end the inning. You know, he had uh, bases loaded. They had one run in. It was a 3-1 ball game. He was a 3-1 count on the hitter and he battled back to get the big strikeout, and I thought that that was the uh, at-bat of the game, and you know, I'm proud of him. That shows the kind of uh, mental toughness that this kid has and the ability that he has only as an 18-year-old freshman. That was Hicks, who struck out moments ago with those accolades. Next pitch gonna be swung on. Here's a bouncy ball up the middle. It's gonna be backhand glove by Sensen, but before he can make the throw over to third, runner scores, and now another wild throw, the third baseman, Martin. They're glanced to second. And the pitch swung on, sharply hit ball, and it's booted again. Polk has it go off the heel of his glove, coming around to score is King from second. And the beat goes on here from Davenport Field. Seven errors and counting. So these Friday night games are really important because it kind of sets the tone for the rest of the weekend. And, you know, you know, luckily we were able to do that, and hopefully we can you know, get two more wins out of this. Swings to the next pitch, slaps this one through the hole to left field, and there is a leadoff single for Jarrett Parker, who was aboard for Virginia with its first hit. The one-two pitch is on the way. This one swung on. It's lined through the hole to left field. There's a base hit for Cannon. It advances Parker over to second base. Yeah, you know, I thought we uh, swung the bats better today. I, I said in the pregame show that I thought that um, you know us hitting on balance uh, was it really important for us today. We didn't do a real good job of that yesterday, where. You know, I thought we got back today to a good base and, you know, swinging the bats uh, aggressively like we're capable of. And, you know, I, I still feel in these two ball games this weekend we haven't played our best baseball, you know, uh, and um, that's the exciting thing about tomorrow is you have an opportunity, you know, uh, on the final game of the series to come out and play your best baseball of the, year, of the uh, weekend. Here's the throw for the second. Sliding in safe at second is Holton with a nice hook slide. Got a good jump on it. Now the one-two pitch. Parker swings and drives this one up the hill, off the heel of the glove of Sensen, who was trying to make a tough backhand step. If we have come out and play good baseball tomorrow, we could be in a great position in this league going into the final two weekends. And that's what you work hard for all year. And everything that we want is right out in front of us. And for Coach O'Connor, I mean, he's just he's an amazing coach. He deserves any kind of credit he gets. And I didn't know it was the 250th. I guess I think I was on the team when he got his 100th, too. And we, we took a bat out there. And so being a part of that is, is an awesome thing. And um, he's built him along with Coach Kuhn and Coach McMullen to build just an awesome program that I know that I'll be able to come back in 10 years or however long this continues and come back to a place that I've, I've been a part of and it's only growing. It's only getting better every year.